Good morning. I cannot go anywhere without my babies. My name is Sarah Larson. I am 43 years old and I am an adaptive golfer and I was born with amniotic band syndrome and also spina bifida. What are you using? Ooh, Driver. the big dog. I first got into golf because of my husband. He is an avid golfer and I wanted to spend more time with him. She said she wanted to try, so we bought her some clubs. And then I said, just, you know, start practice swinging. You know, you look at golf and majority of everyone has two hands. How am I going to play golf one-handed? Ground rule to second base. He pushed and he encouraged me. And he said, let's do this, Sarah. I'm like, all right, let's go for it. Nice pot. As soon as I got that first solid impact, that was the moment that I'm like, yep, I'm a golfer. Boom. Now that felt good. I was relaxed. So your first prosthesis oh. was when you were six months old. They fitted you for your first one. Remember when you wore your prosthesis on a regular basis? Mm -mm, and I then, don't. and then all of a sudden, I would you leave just, it in the backpack. You didn't That's want cool. to. Everybody said you'll do better with it. it, like when you cut. And we did that once with you. We said, "Well, try cutting them without your prosthesis." And I cut better. You put your left arm down and you just cut away, mm -hmm. cut away. <laughs> Sarah was very independent. She was strong-willed, which thank God she was because that's what got her so far, I think. <laughs> obstacles were not an issue. She overcome a lot of obstacles as a young girl. I was, I think, not comfortable in my skin. A lot of people were looking at me, pointing, because I had some digits at the end and I let the world tell me that I might be disabled or I'm not normal. That's not right. Th this is me. This is how I'm going to play life. I said, you know what? I think it's time to rebrand myself. I went in, he free drew on my tattoo. And ever since then, I try not to wear any sleeves if I don't have to. Oh, here's some more gold. Even the bright colors. Yeah. Oh, my hole in one. How many do you have? I have zero. Oh. Dude, did we really need to talk about that? <laughs> now let's get to some of the highlights. Playing out at the first U.S. Adaptive Open was amazing. I ended up having a birdie on a hole, and it made a couple news channels, Golf Channel. Come on. Bottom of the cup. A two on the card for Sarah Beth. I teared up. Me and my son were watching it and he cheered for her. I was pretty happy. And you could tell she was super excited. My seven-year-old is gonna know what mom did to make history. It's not just about the birdie that I made, that I finished. I'm honestly touched. I'm a mom, I'm a working wife, and to be a part of that is just, I was humbled and honored beyond belief. Dude, Logan, what's up, man? Ready to rock? Yeah. When I was younger, I did not have a chance to be mentored. I did not have someone else who was one-handed to learn from, to understand the struggles of life growing up. I first met Sarah at uh, the golf course. We played a round of golf together. I went out and, you know, tried working with him. You were kind of putting your arm on your wrist here. Would that feel better for you for movement-wise to feel like it's... Like this? Like... Yeah. She's someone that can help me adjust my swing, whether it's with two limbs touching it or one. Either way, she can give me tips on it and I know I can trust her. We have to grow the game of golf and to grow it, it's about growing and taking those that are not golfers now off the couch and onto a golf course and those kids to have an interest to know that they can. So my purpose is to inspire and grow and continue to have those kids enjoy the game of golf. I'm in the beach. Better the beach than the water, huh? So I am part of the North American One Arm Golfer Association. I have these. They were actually custom made for Pinehurst this year. Nawaga typically is green. They let me go rogue and have a little bit of pink. So I'm excited. It's our motto, never quit. Well, I'm out. What impresses me the most about Sarah, how she has the will to do whatever she wants to do. She inspires me by the way she overcomes all the obstacles in her life. It's amazing where she has been 
And where she is now, I mean the transformation from, uh, from a young, young girl to a successful woman, uh, some of that stuff helped to build her character, I think, and it made her what she is today. She would never say, I can't do this. You know, she just, mm -hmm. she would always figure out a way that she could do it. Sarah, you are gonna take this pink ball and you're gonna hit it on that green. Never quit is for anything, right? If you're having a hard time at work or if you're having a hard time in your life, whatever it is, don't quit. Always look and find that goal. You're gonna have good scores, you're gonna have bad scores. The next morning you're gonna wake up, you probably will forget that bad score. You might remember that good score, but it's just another day. Boom! And that's where it's at.